Hello everyone. Good evening. I'm Steve from UCAN English Tutoring, one of the pioneer institutions that is located in Sydney, Australia. In today's video, I'm going to assess one of the letters that I have received from a pharmacist. Let's go through the letter now. So the pharmacist has written on the addressee's contact details on the top. That is Mrs. Serena Brito, 148 Douglas Avenue, South Perth, WA, Australia. And then she has written down the date of letter in the format of 28 March, 2013. And then she has written on the reference details that is regarding Mr. Charles Brito. All right. After that, she has written on dear Mr. Mrs. Brito. Okay. I mean, she has written on the addressee's um, surname. So that's good. And then comma, she has written on this introduction paragraph. This is being written to discharge your husband, comma, Mrs. Brit Mr. Brito, as he has been doing well after receiving suitable treatment from us for acute cerebrovascular issue. So the introduction paragraph is really good. It's well structured and uh, it is written down without any grammatical mistakes. So this has clearly told who the patient is and what kind of letter it is and uh, what you are going to do, um, you know, what needs he needs to receive after, um, you know, going to be discharged, okay? And this is his problem as well anyway. So um, the the student has written down all the required information in the introduction paragraph. This is one of the best letters written by a pharmacist so far. Okay, let's go to the next paragraph. So the next one is on admission, Mr. Brito was diagnosed with acute cerebrovascular problem and was treated appropriately due to which some improvement in his health condition was observed. Wow, it's really amazing. This is one of the complex sentence structures, but she was able to ease the sentence structure like anything. She, her sentence structure is amazing. And it doesn't have any grammatical mistakes as well. All these words were spelled very well. This is one of the best sentence structures, okay, that can impress the examiner like anything. Trust me, she has done a wonderful job. And then she has written on, the patient was seen by Dr. Green, an expert in dealing with various cerebral vascular problems. Wow. Amazing. She has written down, you know, this sentence also very well. I'm very happy with that. All right, let's go to the next one. Since your husband is going to be there at your home, there is a requirement to take great care of him and follow medical regime strictly. So that, that's a very good thing. You know, this is also a very good sentence structure. So since your husband is going to be there at your home, there is a requirement to take great care of him and follow medical regime strictly. That's good. All right, what's the next paragraph? Regarding Mr. Brito's medicines, both aspirin 325 mg and para, paroxetinin 12.5 mg are prescribed for once a day at 10 a.m and 2 p.m. respectively. That's amazing. That's good. I'm very happy with that. Kama, however, one Atorvastin 10 mg tablet requires to be taken every night. Oh, that's all right. That's good. So this sentence is also good enough. Also, Taxim 500 mg is prescribed for thrice daily for one week and Zantac 150 mg for one week. Okay, that's good. This sentence is also good. In addition, Duralux 10 mg needs to be given at night to prevent constipation and heparin low molecular weight in bracket anticoagulant should be continued until his next visit. Wow. So this paragraph is also really good. It doesn't have any grammatical mistakes. It is able to convey the dosage name of the medicines and then its frequency. So all these things have been clearly told um, in this particular paragraph and the whole paragraph is all about the medications. I'm very happy with the way that you have written down. All right, and then unfortunately, these medicines may lead to some side effects which are detailed in the attached list. Wow, amazing. Again, she was able to mention, you know, the medicines in one paragraph and then the list of side effects in the next paragraph. 
If you notice any of these side effects, please contact the doctor immediately. That's amazing. So this sentence also doesn't have any grammatical mistakes. I'm very happy with that. Following diet as per the advice of the dietitian is also vital. Wow, that is also good. If you require any further, further information, please do not hesitate to contact me. That's amazing. Yours sincerely, the pharmacist. Wow. Uh, I would like to give only one <clears throat> recommendation here. It's just a recommendation. Instead of writing down needs to be given at night, she could have used requires to be given. Instead of needs, it could have, she could have used requires. But apart from that, this is one of the best letters she has written on so far. Okay, let's go through the assessment factor now. All right, firstly, grammar at, is at its best. She was able to use a range of st sentence structures, a range of, sorry. Um, a range of simple, complex and compound sentences were very well used, were well used, okay, they were very well used. And uh, she was able to write them down without any grammatical mistake as well, which is really good. I'm, I'm really impressed with the way she has written down. All right, so the other thing is vocabulary. Vocabulary is apt, so it's perfect. I'm very happy with that. Overall task fulfillment, is also fine. I was able to check the number of words in the body letter and it was about 210, which is within the word limit anyway. Though they recommend, recommend you to write down between 180 and 200 words, it is still acceptable to, to write up to 220 words on condition that you don't include any irrelevant information, okay? So I have checked that out and it, it looks really good. Connectivity is, is also fine. I'm very happy with the way you have linked the sentences together and they, they are really good, all right? Your connectivity is perfect. And you are able to use, um, you know, use of nouns, verbs, punctuation marks, punctuation marks, sorry, articles and prepositions is superb. It's really good, really, really good, okay? The layout and presentation are also perfect. That's good as well, okay? So all, okay, let's see. Um, so case notes were very well organized. Congratulations, you have done a wonderful job by doing this. Um, you know, the capital and small letters were used appropriately. Another good thing I would like to notice here is that the use of passive voice form for most of the sentences was excellent. She was able to use passive voice form for majority of the sentences, which I really amaze because that is one of the key assessment criteria as far as the OET letter is concerned. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you know, show you the case notes and let's see, you know, if she has already included all the relevant case notes in her letter or not. Let's go there. Okay, so this is the reading time, five minutes, writing time, 40 minutes. Let's go to the writing task. Okay, so what you have to do here is that using the information in the case notes, write a letter to her wife, to his wife. It should be to his wife. Um, white building, Thames Park, outlining her husband's medication regime, any potential adverse effects to be aware of and when to seek medical advice. Wow, that's good. And this is what we have to do. So we are gonna write down the letter to the patient's wife, okay. In your answer, expand the relevant notes into complete sentences. Do not use note form, use letter format. The body of the letter should be approximately 180 to 200 words. Okay, let's go here now. So reading time, five minutes, writing time, 40 minutes. 
read the case notes and complete the writing task which follows case notes an elderly patient has been admitted and diagnosed as having an acute cerebrovascular problem after all the treatment the patient is showing progression and he is fit for discharge so here you are a pharmacist at greenland hospital and you are writing a letter to his wife to ensure the medication regime is followed when he returns home all right good patient history name mr charles brito date of birth 10 march 1934 allergies shellfish uh, current medication on admission these are the medications aspirin blah 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 325 antipertidyl 325 od at 10 am that's all good and then paroxetin 12 mg od at 2 pm and then antidepressant has a history of depression on discharge these are the medications okay aspirin 325 mg antiplatelet and then 325 od at uh, 10 am and then parox uh, paroxetin 12.5 mg od at 2 pm antidepressant has a history of depression taxim 500 mg tds for 7 days zantac um that is reni uh, reni td reni tdin for gastric upset 150 um mg bd for 7 days and then atorvastatin 10 mg od at night heparin low molecular weight uh, that is anticoagulant 7500 um bd to be confirmed to be continued till next visit that's good durolex to prevent constipation and then 10 mg at night okay the next one is drug information this adverse drug reactions aspirin adverse bleeding uh, gi disturbances and then um, okay ranitidine adverse headache g upset rash cns disturbances rad atorvastatin adverse so these are the ones serious analysis uh, myopathy myalgia and g upset one person is headache rash uh, flu like symptoms raised lfts and blah 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 heparin adverse these are the ones hemorrhage um, and then easy bruising nausea vomiting taxim adverse rad sensitive to reactions uh, nausea vomiting mild diarrhea allergic skin rash and hair hives okay so she is three patient lives with his wife all their children are away they both live alone he is a smoker and an alcoholic height is 160 cm weight is 850 85 kg tenches nil depression controlled by medication 17 march 10 am patient brought to emd in a car with his wife uh, presenting symptoms brittus wife found him lying on the floor confused and soaked in urine 10:15 a.m. patient was seen by Dr. Green CT skull scan was done and then MRI was prescribed 11:30 a.m. transferred to ward all the routine investigations ordered LFTs platelet count WBC count WBC types RRBC RRBC counts RBC indices HG hemo uh, hemo hematocrit blood smear ECG and x-ray just x-ray advice care of pressure areas fluid balance IV fluids nutritional management according to dietitian's advice thrombosis prevention low dose low molecular weight heparin mechanized uh, compression stockings and then 20th march that's the date of discharge okay good um, it seems to me that she has included all her all the relevant case notes so i'm very happy for the way that you have included it all the relevant case notes were well organized and included happy i'm very happy about this all right so the expected score to me this letter sounds like a like an a grade letter i'm pretty confident that this must be able to get at least 450 out of 500 you have done a wonderful job and trust me if you can do the same way you should be able to get an a grade easily in your real oet examination as well if you are looking for a free assessment for your first letter please send it to me on my whatsapp number that is plus 6146848077 or steve at you can english tutoring dot com you can also contact me on my facebook page that is www.facebook.com/you can tutoring i've been helping more than 12000 students since 2008 in three different formats of the examination such as oet ielts and pt thank you so much for watching this video and i wish you good luck with your practice thank you